idiot, idiot. These kinds of things happen sometimes. I got halfway down to downtown, but I forgot my passport. You have to carry your passport everywhere with you here. Uh, and uh, you cannot check into a hotel without it. So I stopped off in Dongshan and I can't get a motorbike taxi to get me up to Shaolin. None of them want to go there. So I have to walk a couple blocks over to another bus stop and see if I can't take the bus back to my apartment. <sighs> and it's hot. So now I am walking through a very unknown part of town. I'm on the main drag here and there's nobody out. The restaurants are all closed. Just a quiet. Well, I finally made it downtown, but my afternoon is shot, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go check into my hotel. Hotel near the Liho Plaza. It's right across the street from the Zhongshan Hilton and the Liho Plaza, but it's about 20% the cost. I mean, the Hilton is the most expensive hotel in town, and it's the nicest, it really is. It's the tallest, it's the newest, and Liho Plaza is kind of a center of town. It's um, a giant mall, basically. I slept exceedingly well last night. This is probably the most comfortable bed I've slept in outside of a five-star hotel. In fact, I've slept better here than I have in five-star hotels. And it was quiet, which is odd because it's right across the street from a major mall, but I didn't hear anything. It was great for the price, which is around 200 RMB with everything included. Breakfast here is uh, in a Western breakfast or excuse me, a Western restaurant, but they have only a Chinese breakfast, which is noodles, lots of carbs, some eggs, and some sausage and dim sum. Um, I'm the only one in here. To give you an idea of the convenience, that's the entrance of the hotel. And over here you have Liho Plaza. That's the Hilton right there. And 24-hour uh, McDonald's, which I won't lie, came in handy late last night. Even the Dairy Queen closed. Wow. What's a mall without a Dairy Queen? Poured a new concrete slab, however, they didn't grade it, so the water still pools in many places. <sighs> this is only a year old, this restroom, and it's um, <laughs> water all over the ground. Or they just come in here with a hose and they hose it down. We got. Uh, an area over here for kids and then you've got these other sinks that you know one of them's already broken these um, other two and there's water everywhere I mean when, they, when men they wash their hands they splash all the water everywhere and it's got a huge smell of smoke that's why they have this in here so when you've got four or five guys in here smoking they'll plug this in and try and get all the, the smoke out in the stalls there is no toilet paper so you have to grab toilet paper from here and then go into the restroom to use it and there's no paper towels so you have this little hand dryer but nobody ever uses that to dry their hands they use the toilet paper so the reason why they hose it down I'm slipping and sliding all over the place is that when men use the urinals they'll stand a couple of feet back and arc the piss into the urinal this is the one stall with a western sit toilet all the rest of them look like this, you know, the squatter toilet, which I'm fine with, I'm used to it. It's actually more healthy. However, this one is always locked because the janitors use it as a kind of a cleaning closet. So it's never open, never available for me to use. 